Hey y'all, welcome back to Triple Goddess Soapery. My name is Angela, and today you get to watch me make uh, my very first attempt at airbrushing bath bombs. Now, this is something that I have never done before. I have never used an airbrush. I'm not artistic at all. I don't paint. So it was definitely a giant learning curve for me. I decided this week that since I was bored, I was going to take the supplies that I have and I was going to learn to make bath bombs, specifically donut bath bombs. And I was going to airbrush them and drizzle them and all that fun stuff. So I've been busy because this is something that I've never done before and I'm not very good at. But I will say that airbrushing is a lot of fun. Although I have already ordered a new airbrush because this airbrush is kind of garbage and I wouldn't recommend it. I have bought a siphon air gun with uh, 10 little jars that you hook up to mix your colors. Because the reason I walked away here is because I ran out of paint already and I had to go mix new paint. So yeah. So I the night before, so last night, I made some plain white bath bombs, donut bath bombs, and they were my very first attempt, well not my first attempt, it was my third batch of bath bombs, but the first time I successfully made a donut, so I was very proud of these. And this morning I decided I wanted to try airbrushing because why not, I bought the airbrush, that's what it's for. So the first paint I mixed up was a red, now on, I already don't remember which red it was, and it went on pretty good. And so the second I'm just layering up some orange here. And when I ran out of paint really quickly here, I go back and I load it up with more paint and the gun immediately clogged. So I had to spend about 45 minutes unclogging, taking the gun completely apart and then not knowing how to put it back together because the instructions that came up with it were crap. And putzing around and I finally got the gun back together and working so go me. Very resourceful when I want to be and I decided the hell with the orange and I think I picked up purple next and I'm super super proud of these bath bombs now you're gonna see like later on when I get there I have a bath bomb I start with purple and then I layer some um, it's called mermaid green and I was I'm so so happy with how it turned out they're so gorgeous I've ordered a mermaid egg and a dragon egg bath bomb mold from Windy Point Soaps and I cannot wait to use those molds, probably get super frustrated and cranky, and then paint them with the new airbrush and make them look like mermaid eggs and dragon eggs. That's like going to be the highlight of my summer, I think. So yeah. So here we go. I got out my purple, got my little itsy bitsy teensy tiny cup, and all I do is put a little bit of mica and fill the little cup up with 99% isopropyl alcohol, stir it up real good and put it in the gun, except right here I spill it all over the place and I have to start all over again. But the good thing about stainless steel tables and mica and alcohol is honestly it's super easy to clean up. So there it goes, all over the table. So. Yeah, clean that all up and start all over again. <laughs> now this purple does look really, really nice. And honestly, I really don't know what I'm doing with this air gun. I know you, I, I played around with, you know, um, opening and closing it, making it, I don't know, stronger and less strong. I don't know. Someone who knows more about um, airbrushes can, I'm sure, tell me what the right... Uh, lingo is but yeah so one thing I was I read or listen I have two bath bomb places that I go to I go to the soap chef and I also go to creative bath labs and one thing that was said was to use very very fine mica nothing that's too pearlescent or glittery because the particles are too big and it will clog up your your brush which was interesting because I didn't think the orange was particularly um, large particle but honestly I guess how, how can you tell by the naked eye so I got the purple in and it's working really well and it's very pretty and honestly these bath bombs are just for personal use they're just for me messing around um, the recipe came from the soap chef it is her second beginner recipe that has 
oils in it, but it doesn't have any bubblers. And it works really well. I used, what did I use? I used Witch Hazel as my binder. And I've tried water, I've tried alcohol, and I've decided that I like Witch Hazel. And I think with this batch, I actually put too, more, I put too much water in. I switched the numbers for my water and my fragrance oil. And there's not much activation, but you definitely up close can see a little bit of activation. But honestly, who would know besides Bath Bomb Maker? Customers wouldn't know the difference, I don't think. And all, you can barely see it, so I guess it's no big deal. But we are our worst critics, right? All right, so I, I believe I'm just, basically I'm just filling up the little top part with all of the mica and well, all the colorant that I make and I'm just loading it on the bath bombs just like, just to get a feel for it and, and figure out how to use this airbrush. So I just stirred it up really good because I don't want to clog it again and spend another 45 minutes taking it apart and cleaning it. And I will say, like, mica is very easy to wash off your hands and wash off everything, so it wasn't, it's not too bad. And these have been sitting on my tabletop for probably about eight hours. And when you pick them up and move them, um, you really don't get much, um, much, there's a word for it, transfer. You don't really get much transfer on your hands, so that's good. Now, picking them up when they're still wet, you do get lots of transfer, but but it's all good. So yeah, I, um, I did make one more batch of these after this, and I have posted... Um, it's about a three minute long video, and it's posted TikTok style, so I apologize now because the, the video is sideways. And I kind of wish that I had recorded it with YouTube in mind because it's a good video. I'm very proud of the video. I did shrink it down to three minutes so and post it on TikTok. So you can watch it there if you want to get a, a better, uh, I don't know, a better view of it. But it is posted on YouTube as well. Now, these ones are fragranced in, I believe. What did I fragrance these in? I think these are in Viva La Juicy, the dupe for Viva La Juicy. The bath bombs that I made after this, the other donuts, those are fragranced in black raspberry and vanilla. And here I am, I think I cut some of it out, but I'm, I'm basically just using up the rest of that purple. And this is the one I'm super proud of. I love the way this turned out and this is what I want to do for the dragon eggs and the mermaid eggs. Just a light dusting of the purple, just enough to cover but but just enough to make it look opaque. And then next I take a color called uh, Mermaid Green, which is perfect. And I just kind of go over it a little bit. And I think what I'll do is I'll take a pink, a purple, and the Mermaid Green. I might take a blue, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll take a black, I haven't figured it out yet. And I'm just gonna layer them like this and that's what I'm gonna do for my, my dragon eggs and my mermaid eggs. And I also think I'm going to try and buy some little toys or something to put inside of the eggs, but I haven't quite got that far yet. But look at this. Look. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm just so incredibly proud of how well this turned out, considering this is my very first time airbrushing um, bath bombs. Or airbrushing anything, for that matter. See, look, I'm so proud of it. I show the camera. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to say, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button if you have not already. And there will be more soapy shenanigans to come. I have lots of videos recorded that I have to edit. In the meantime, have a fabulous day.